Okay guys, I'm at Linda's house. We're taking a look at an air handler that sits above the, uh, the washer and dryer here. Um, we have, oh, what exact measurements we got? Um, mm, about 24 inches uh, to work with from top to bottom of the shelf. And uh, looking at about 58 inches from beginning to end here. Uh, something we need a little sticky pan, uh, probably just two by four or something. Our units sitting in here, but I'll take another measurement of that and then get a sticky switch and then drain just going down into here. Uh, so we'll probably look at that smaller uh, 39 inch uh, long unit. Um, and then lines that we need to cut and flush, get the new 410A in there, put new Armaflex on here, um, obviously clean up the drain. And then this is just a 5KW. Uh, it's got 8 gauge wire and it's on a 60 amp breaker, but that's always worked fine for us. So let's we'll go back with what we, uh, what was in there. Um, and uh, I think that'd be, once this is just kind of cleared out here, I think we're fine with bringing this unit down. Actually, we got a light there. So this may be have to kind of be pulled apart and then kind of crushed and then brought down. And then the new one, I think if we just get that bulb out of there. We can kind of slide that into place and we may have to lift up to get the uh, the pan and the four by fours or even two by fours in the back. So uh, obviously with that new unit being a positive pressure, we want to worry about a P-trap so we'll be in good shape and be the right unit to use for this application. And then this is our ductwork. We're 20 inches tall, I think about 18 inches wide, so that should fit up pretty well too. And then watch it coming in. 